Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing fine. So, guys, myself with it, I'll be starting this webinar or a demo on F5 Advanced Web. So, I'm starting now without wasting time because we have a batch which is starting. So, I'll be giving you that details later on, but we are starting one combo batch which will conclude F5 Advanced WAF. And this batch original date is 5th of August, but first class will be on 30th July. So this will be a combo batch, which includes F5 Advanced WAF plus Palo Alto Firewall. First, we'll be completing F5 Advanced WAF. Then after some break, we'll start with Palo Alto and fees for both this is 12,000 Indian rupees and 200 USD. And this will be a weekend batch and timing would be morning 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. IST. So I myself will be teaching you F5 and I am basically in this field from last 15 years and I'm already certified in F5 LTM GTM, ASM, and APM. And after this course, I can give you guarantee that you can correct any interview. That's my promise. I don't care whatever anyone says, but you will get all the concepts which are in production environment. We will do the labs for all concepts, plus theory part, plus interview preparation. And Palo Alto will be teach by Hemu sir. That will be after once I complete advanced WAF. Palo Alto will not start now. We'll give you the date for that. But it's a combo batch and combo offer. This price is only applicable if you enroll for combo batch. And guys, I'll be taking your Q&A after this demo. So this demo, I wanted to explain you what I'll be covering in this whole batch and how I teach, what are my YouTube channel, and what certification it will benefit. So let's go directly, guys, without wasting time. So guys, in this whole training and certification, my target for you guys is you should be able to clear ASM exam, which is 303. Plus, you can work in production environment. Nowadays, guys, every company wants a cybersecurity expert engineer. If you're good in network, that's good. If you're good in security, that is additional advantage. But nowadays, what companies are asking is you need to be good in web application security. Nowadays, every application which is HTTP or HTTPS requires a security. So whatever attacks are happening in an organization, they want it to protect it and they want a good engineer who has a knowledge in network also, plus security also, plus firewalls, plus advanced WAF guys. So some people have questions. Do I need any knowledge on basics of load balancer? That is LTM guys. Don't worry, guys. First class, which I will be doing on 30th July, that will include basics what are required for ASM. So first of all, guys, since you all have joined it, I'll tell you the, the quick difference between F5, then what is LTM, and what is ASM. So in companies, some people say that it is also called web application firewalls also and this is called your application load balancer both the devices are part of a same company you can say this that it is a module ltm is one module asm is a separate module so what is the difference exact between them guys nowadays guys company wants four things they want to deploy application over web everyone knows that 
all your application which are internet facing are web application what does web application means web application means application which are deployed on http versus https another customer requirement comes as they want 24 into 7 application availability third thing they want security so this course covers everything which is required for security plus load balancer so every company is nowadays asking for this this combination if you are good in network you should know LTM plus ASM if you're good in security you should be good in Polo Alto 40 get or checkpoint plus you need to go in F5 wow. or it is also called application security manager trust me guys nowadays competition is very very tough you should know what are what are your architecture topology and why i should go with ltm plus asm so when you access any website aws.com crnets.com google.com what they are running you are having hundreds of clients are accessing this website do you think there is a load balancer if there is a load balancer whether my website is also secure see load balancer can only load balance so that your server does not get over utilized but what is the security my website is crnets.com if i access this website crnets.com how i am sure that my website is secure or not that is the purpose which will consist in your asm that is called application security manager and what is the difference between this firewalls versus advanced web we will understand that also carefully so if someone asks you how ltm works so let's say you have a client then you have a firewall that is a layer 3 or layer 4 or layer 7 then you will have a f5 after that there will be a layer 2 switch or layer 3 it depends on your topology then you have multiple servers try to understand guys what is ltm topology and what it will have when we have asm or it is called WAF, or it is nowadays also called advanced WAF. so in an interview guys nowadays people ask you are you good in security are you good in networking do you have knowledge on OWASP top 10 do you know what is vulnerability? Do you know how to protect my organization? I want full security. Do you know what is DDoS? What is brute force attack? Do you know how HTTP works? What is inside HTTP? HTTP, if I ask someone, what is HTTP? Some will say it is an HTTP works on AT port. It is a web application layer protocol. But what is running inside that, that we will cover in this course, guys. When you access any website, what will happen? How it will hit the traffic on our load balancer and how security is applied? That we need to understand very, very carefully. So, guys let's say my customer says that i want to deploy this application cnnets.com behind a load balancer so your requirement is you will deploy one load balancer you will be creating a virtual ip you will be creating a pool member don't worry guys we will be covering this in our first class we will be deploying pool so WIP is nothing guys by default when you deploy any website let's say cnnets.com so you'll be creating one virtual ip that is called front end ip so f5 works between client network and between server network so f5 is coming in middle now 
question is how this is called load balancer load balancer means i have multiple servers and my different clients coming from internet connects to f5 my f5 should load balance some request will go to server one some request will go to server two some request will go to server three so they should know how load balancer works so that is where picture comes into point how f5 works so you have load balancing now this is simple load balancer what is happening your client wants to connect to crnets.com your traffic is going to f5 f5 is generally forwarding a traffic to server 1 server 2 and server 3 that's it right when i'm talking about local traffic manager or a simple load balancer is there any security applied here no traffic is coming from client who is accessing website and it is going via firewall to f5 then load balancing is happening does f5 come to know whether this client traffic is bad or this client traffic is good does load balancer comes to know about this traffic whether my traffic is good or bad whether this client is a hacker or it's a normal user when a traffic coming from server to f5 does f5 scan it does f5 mitigate any attack no when i talk about a normal load balancer it is just working as a layer 4 layer 7 load balancer it will receive a request it will forward to multiple servers so that it provides you availability if one server goes down traffic should go to second server second thing is it making it it is making sure that proper load balancing is happening but does it provide any security i will come to know whether this client is a hacker or not so there comes a device which is called very very important and a huge demand guys trust me people who have good knowledge on asm in a india or any foreign countries there are very less engineers who knows a product called asm or a web so that is how it is increasing your demand see guys everyone nowadays know fortigate what else you know everyone knows about g scaler what is different you need to show them something different are you good in cloud security are you good in application security are you good in cyber security that is they are demanding so here comes your asm product what will help it helps you to mitigate web application attacks that is the first thing why i need a f5 asm so there are two advantage which it will give polo alto can protect from web application attack but does polo alto provides you load balancer here your asm is giving you load balancer feature also plus it is giving you http https security it is helping you to protect from brute force attack this device is capable to handle all the layer 7 attacks so if someone asks you what is asm or what is waf this is the first question which company ask what is f5 asm why i should deploy asm nowadays why what extra feature it gives you so the first definition you should tell them is asm is a web application security component that protects from layer 7 attack it can scan your traffic it can detect your attack and it can mitigate also that is the best definition a simple definition what is f5 asm so it is a flexible 
application firewall that secures your web application in private cloud. It can be public cloud or it can be your traditional network. So that is all you need to understand how, what are the features? We will understand the features also, how it is different from other product. That all things we will understand. So what are the key benefits? Now I will talk about key benefits. Very, very important guys. Don't leave this until you understand the product. It will not help you. Now, what are the key benefits? of this product first of all guys we know that nowadays all the application which you access are on http and https second it is protecting your web traffic plus nowadays mobile application traffic all the application nowadays are using api application so it can protect from web attacks, mobile API attacks, and malicious boards. So we will see how butter boards, how it is. Nowadays, you have heard about credential stuffing. Some people have heard about dark web. So that is also protecting by WAF. Daniel of service, DDoS attack. F5 web protects against Daniel of service attacks, guys. Whatever vulnerability you are having on HTTP layer or HTTPS layer, it protects from that also. So it has a vast, vast knowledge. So in a lab infrastructure, we will be doing all the real life practicals to understand how HTTP works. What are the vulnerability? We'll be taking one website and we will perform all the attacks there. And then we will see how F5 will mitigate. So you need to understand what are the vulnerabilities coming in web application and how F5 is protecting. Until you, you don't know what are attacks, how it are performed, you will not understand how F5 protected. So for that, you should have good knowledge on HTTP layer that I will be covering on second class. And I am already certified and I have more than 15 years experience. So you don't worry. And I'll be giving you lifetime interview support, guys. You can call me seven to eight for any doubts also Monday to Friday. Now, guys, this question I have seen many people are asking whether this course Sir, I only have knowledge on CCNA. Does, does it course help me to build my resume? Does it separate me from my world, guys? Whoever has good knowledge on network product, they can just a basic knowledge on OSI layer. They can do this product. So here we will be covering design part, how F5 is deployed in production environment, will be covering about implementation and I will be covering operation stuff also. Day to day, what activities you guys are doing it. So design, implementation plus operations. All these three things I'll be covering in this whole course. We'll be talking about installation of F5. We'll be talking about deployment part fine tuning part and day to day maintenance. Very, very important guys. And after this, you will be able to crack this exam. I can guarantee in India, not more than 3000 people are. I'm not sure whether 3000 people are certified in India, but there are very less engineers who have good knowledge on web application. They know what is our application, but how to secure it. They know what is Palo Alto, but how to protect my application from web application security. 
so in whole let me now tell you about agenda which i'll be covering in my course which i'm starting from next week i'll be covering about web application security OWASP top 10 guys in this i'll be covering sql injection cross site scripting all the top layer 10 attacks we will be talking about how web application vulnerability works what are the deployment methods so guys total there are 19 modules which i will be covering and it will take more than one month to complete this training so we'll be seeing layer 7 attacks how Palo Alto works and what is difference between Palo Alto and WAF and I'll be proving you why it is important. We will be seeing what is difference between ASM versus advanced WAF. So there are three features which F5 has introduced and they have told that it is F5 advanced WAF. All labs you can do free of cost. F5 gives you 30 days free license you can practice n number of features and if you have a good laptop with 8 gb ram new laptop it will work even if you have little two to three years 5 gb ram is also enough you just need a laptop with 8 gb ram and your lab would be successful i would also suggest you can do lab on google cloud but whatever benefit you get from normal laptop that cannot give you any other platform I'm giving, I'm doing a lab on 4 GB RAM because I have a laptop five years old, but I have SSD also. So that is why it is working. And in what is the lab topology? Lab topology, I will show you quickly what I'll be doing in lab topology. So one minute. I'll be showing you the lab topology quickly. So I will be deploying guys. So this is the lab topology. I'll be having one client. This is my laptop. I'll be having one laptop with Windows 10. I'll be having one F5, which I'll be deploying in VimWare workstation. Then I'll be having one website that is called PHP. So how this website looks like, I will show you. So this is the website which I will be performing all the layer seven attacks. I'll be showing you what are the vulnerabilities present in this website and how F5 detects that vulnerability and how F5 mitigate. So this is your, this is deployed in one of the server. It only requires 5112 MB RAM. That is also deployed in VimWare workstation. Simple lab topology, guys. Even in production environment, you don't need to remember much. So I'll be having one client laptop, one F5, and one server. So here my vulnerable is deployed. Okay, guys. In the same application, it supports PHP, Linux, Unix, operating system, and Apache server. Simple. And I will be having both the images on this. VimWare workstation, I will be deploying it. See, if I right click here, settings, I will show you. I have only 4 GB RAM, which I am using it. See, 4.4 GB RAM. So, when you deploy F5 guys in a production environment, you need to know how the topology works. So in a production environment, guys, you have a client, then you will have is called F5 and your servers. Let's say these servers are in cloud and their gateway is firewall. So that is the simple topology in fire. You will have one firewall, you have one F5. So F5s are mostly deployed in one ARM mode. One ARM mode means one interface, single interface for incoming and outgoing. So traffic will come here 
then to reach to servers a file will again throw a traffic to firewall because server gateway is firewall and f5 has a default route towards fire and in our lab topology we will have an f5 f5 has management network we will have an internal network where our vulnerable app is deployed that is a php server then we will have an f5 network for ha and one is external external means we are your website so this is also called your front end network and this is called your back end network very very important guys and that is my guarantee guys i will make sure that you all will create your lab successful and f5 gives you 30 days license so you don't need to worry on that part also you can practice n number of features so today i have generated one license i will log in into my f5 so this is how your f5 looks like through gui you can do configuration via gui and cli but when we do asm part most of the configuration you do by gui because cli is for packet capture you can do it so this is how you go to system when you go to license see f5 has trial license can you see i have generated a license today only that's it july 22 and it will get expired on 22nd of august 2023 and it has include all your features dns apm asm apm even it has advanced web application firewalls so that is how it's easy that is why f5 is more demanding you can practice any features of production here on the lab then you can implement the same in production we will see here how to upgrade our f5s we will see license part we will see how to deploy f5 from scratch so that was all about your lab and what as what was the agenda i was showing you agenda is this one i'll be starting from the operating system architecture what is f5 why ltm is deployed why ltm is needed for asm then we will talk about different components of asm http this is very very important in front of interview or vast top 10 deployment architecture how you deploy asm like in firewall we have security policy here also guys we have a security policy so when you deploy you have a security policy created and applied on your virtual server guys then we will see how to fine tune attack signatures and there are very important component which is important in asm is positive security versus negative security model then we will see troubleshooting part also so all this agenda will cover dos bot ddos also ddos is also a separate module in this asm how f5 protects from ddos now that it's very demanding technology which is coming and it is integrated with advanced WAF. so guys how we will be building security policies what is trusted traffic what is untrusted traffic everything violation how policy is built anyways guys before that one important topic for today why an http profile is required guys this asm is always deployed in layer 7 and it comes under layer 7 osi layer guys and http works on layer 7 and http is a web application protocol and when you access any website it uses http protocol 
So in F5, if F5 wants to detect what is coming inside your HTTP traffic, HTTP profile is needed. So how you create a architecture here, guys? So here, what I will do is I will have one network. In network, I have one interface. Here I am using three interface, if you can see. One I am using for external network, one for internal, and one for H. So I am taking my external network 192, 168. Please, it's very, very important as this network. I'll be allocating a virtual server. Virtual server is nothing, but it is a website URL. And what is the port number? Your app application is running either on 80 port or 443. So I'll be creating one virtual server and I'll be binding one PHP server with it. And my PHP server is on internal network. And that I've given from this network 10.2.2.80. So what I'll be doing is I'll be creating one pool member. This is my pool and here I'm creating one pool member. See, and this is my PHP application. So always remember guys, in F5, there is client. Client will always hit a traffic on F5 load balancer and load balancer device has one component, which is called virtual IP. Always your traffic will hit your virtual IP and virtual IP is nothing but your website address with port number. So for this guys, how client will make sure that it receives the traffic on load balancer. So there will be a DNS entry. So website is a normal website like aws.com. There should be entry. I My VIP is let's say 192, 168, 1.60. So traffic will reach out to this VIP. Then it will forward the traffic to server. And my server is 10.2.80. So that is an architecture in the lab which we'll be following. We will create one virtual SAP. All my traffic will hit here. Then it will get load balance to this. So when I go here in virtual server, see, I have one website. So when I open this virtual server, I will open HTTP, then my IP. See, my website is opened. I am accessing my website through front end. So one advantage F5 provides you is a full proxy architecture. Your client will never come to know what is the server behind this load balancer. It will only connect to front end IP, that is your virtual IP 192.168.1.120. .1 so I will open this. Here, HTTP profile is needed. If you want to deploy ASM, you need HTTP. Why HTTP is needed? Because F5 will scan what is coming inside your client. When client connects to cnets.com via HTTP protocol, what is coming inside your header? That is called your HTTP header. Then F5 will for forward the traffic to your server. When server is forwarding any traffic. So this is called your request traffic. And this is called your response traffic. So we will see everything here, guys. Now, what we will do, we will create a virtual server bind to pool. Can you see this? So I have created one PHP server that I am binding to my virtual IP and client will connect to this virtual IP. And after that, after this setup, there is a component which comes your ASM. In ASM, there we will create one layer seven security policy. So how you can see, you go to security tab policy. Can you see this? Because my traffic, where my traffic is hitting guys, my traffic is always hitting on my so I will apply our layer seven policy on web. 
now what is the advantage of applying a layer 7 policy anyone why i am i am applying a layer 7 policy on my virtual ip then it forwards the traffic to server why when i don't have a asm traffic is going to client client is hitting my virtual ip and f5 is forwarding traffic to server 1 server 2 server 3 but what will happen when asm comes in anyone when ESM is coming into picture, there is a change in traffic flow, guys. If you understand this, you will understand 10% of ASM, guys. Anyone gives an idea, you can reply on the chat. But let's talk about traffic flow. Very, very important. Here comes a very very important interview question if you understand this you will able to crack an interview 10 to 20 percent here you can see in the picture representation you have a client okay client this browser client is connecting to your virtual server virtual server is nothing but url of your website this is called request traffic now can you see first it is checking whether you have a layer 7 policy if you don't have a layer 7 policy it will just forward the traffic to server if you don't have a pool member then your request is dropped but what is the disadvantage here guys this simple load balancer will never come to know that whether this client request is bad or not but when you have layer 7 policy guys before forwarding a traffic to your server guys it will check your policy and it will see whether this request http request is legal or illegal how it is checked it will perform oro scanning rfc compliance everything it will check whether your protocol is good whether your request is good i will show you that it will check 10 or 15 parameters before forwarding a traffic to your pool member if if i think that this client request is illegal guys one question to you everyone if here on virtual server there is a layer 7 policy which is called asm it detects that traffic is illegal whether you will open, able to open web page or not now i am able to open a web page when I'm accessing my virtual server, this IP 192.168.1.120. When I access through this HTTP, I'm able to open website. But now I say that my virtual IP, the one of the client comes that is an hacker. And your F5 ASM layer 7 policy detect it as illegal. In that case, whether I will able to open web website or not. Simple question. Will I able to open my website if request is illegal? Well, F5 will forward traffic to server. So this is the traffic flow. Client, F5, server. In normal case, if request is legal or illegal in LTM, traffic is getting forwarded. But when ASM layer 7 policy comes into picture, at that case, when client connects to F5, first check says this will thoroughly check your client, whether client is using good operating system, whether client browser is legal, whether HTTP protocol with it using is 1.2, whether the method it's using is get method, post method. Once all the steps are legal, then only F5 will forward the traffic to server for load balance. If your request is illegal, it will block your traffic and it will generate a violation. See, if there is a layer 7 policy, traffic will go to ASM policy. It will check for traffic. If it's a valid request, it will go to server. If it's not valid request, there will be a violation. Violation is nothing but a vulnerability or an attack very very important guys in normal scenario 
F5 will forward the traffic. But when layer seven policy is applied on a virtual server, here is the catch. It will check all the parameters, whether the request is legal or illegal. So that is the whole agenda of WAF. It will not forward the traffic to virtual uh, pool members if your request is because F5 is acting as a man in middle attack. Very important, guys. That is why this topology is important. So how it is, you create a client request. Client request will hit your virtual server. Virtual server, you assign an HTTP profile. After that, there is a... So here, can you see this? These are the things which it will check. Whether client who is accessing a host name, whether it's a valid host name or not. Whether the IP address, it will also provide you geolocation. I don't want traffic should come from China. I want that China user, if he is accessing crnets.com, I want that to block. That can be done by F5. So I, there is a feature called IP intelligence. It will check your URI path, headers, cookie, whether it's a sanction tampering or there's a so that is where there is a concept called strong policy. We will see how the policy is built and what comes under policy. So that I will show you quickly. I'll go to my virtual server. This is my virtual server. I will go to security policy. You can see this is the policy. Now I will go to security component. I will go to security policy. By default, guys, when you create a layer seven policy in F5 ASM for first seven days or 15 days, you should always create your policy in transparent mode. Anyone why F5 ASM layer seven policy works in two mode. One transparent, second one is blocking. Now, can anyone tell me why for first seven or 15 days I should keep my policy in transparent mode? Some people have worked on IDS IPS so that I can learn the traffic. When you have a function, let's say you have a your brother marriage. In that case, you give an invitation, right? But sometimes there an outside strangers comes into your marriage. How you will check whether only invitation people comes, you assign a security guard. Let's say you are at home. There is a security guard. Or let's say you are in a company. What they check? Your identity proof. The same way when you deploy a policy in transparent mode, it will learn your traffic. It will see your traffic flow. And it will examine whether this request is coming again and again, then it can treat it as legal. So in transparent mode, guys, it will throw your violation. It will tell you that there are some attacks happening, but your request will not get blocked. If it's a legal or illegal in transparent mode, it will just give you a list of violation occurring on your F5 or on your website. But when you move in into blocking mode, if there is an illegal request, then it will get blocked. So that is where, guys, a very, very important topic come fine tuning. So in this case, whenever you deploy an application or ASM, guys, you should always request your customer to have a call with your application owner. You need to understand your application. What is the operating system running on your application? What is the server technology? So see, now what I will do is, I will go to this security policy and I will show you what are the features it, see, there are two enforcement mode, one transparent, one blocking. And here you can see enforcement readiness period. You can give seven days, 15 days, depending on your 
customer now here i will go to security this is the important thing which i will showing you now learning and blocking settings so i was showing you that what are the security features it checks from here you can check let's say there is some http protocol compliance failing so i want to say let's say there is an http header so if there is no host header in your http request so how your http request looks like i will quickly show you so that you can get so this is how your http request looks like guys very very important guys if you understand this picture you will understand how http works this is the protocol this is your url this is your uri and this product is called your parameter so that is how important http is see you need to first understand what is the protocol or a method so asm also helps you let's say there are different methods in http by default it only allows get method post method and head method if anything else is coming in the method it will block it so this is how it looks like it will check for the valid host name if in http header this valid host name is not coming f5 well block so i will show you http header quickly just give me one minute let me see if i have any request so on that day i was giving one webinar this is how your http header looks like i will show you can you see this i will just increase here you can see which is the method guys let's say if i am not using post method and i am using delete delete means let's say i type delete then login dot php what will it do it will delete my web page so that is a vulnerable method now i want that if someone try to use delete method through client f5 should block it that can only be done through asm how so i will quickly go i will go to asm i will go to application security headers here i will go to methods can you see by default how many methods are there get post and head now can we do one thing uh, my policy is in blocking mode okay now i will try to initiate a delete request and how i will generate there is a tool called fiddler so i will show you how you can generate a vulnerability i will gen open fiddler and i will this is a tool through which it detects your traffic web traffic so i will go here i will say rules before request now i will generate one traffic now this is the traffic which i have generated i will open this now what i will do instead of this i will use delete instead of get see by default what is the method if i open this i will open this i will open again i will open fiddler very important lab which i am showing you then you will understand what is the difference between firewall and an f5 so i will rule 
just this you can ignore i will explain you later i will generate one get request and i will open now here can you see get instead of this what i will do is i will delete and i will say run to completion what happened you can see requested url is blocked why guys if you have a load balancer then this was not done now why it is happening anyone why i am getting blocked page why my website is not accessible why i am not able to open php website anyone on the chat you can reply and i how to troubleshoot you get this support id you go here i will stop this now if you go here refresh this page you need to understand what is the vulnerability so you will go to event logs application request now you can search here you show filter here you can enter your support id i am entering support id go so what is coming here guys what is the one violation coming anyone illegal method and you can see i am generating a delete can you see how important this device is it can perform an attack and it will show you what is an attack happening and how you can mitigate so that is why it is showing you blocked now if i allow this let me allow this method let's say customer says let's allow delete method so i will select here delete and create guy na guys will i get block page or a normal page anyone now i apply the delete method let's do a lab i will rule automatic breakpoint before request now i will refresh now here what i will do i will use delete anyone will i able to open web page see guys i am able to open my web page so that is how you can allow or block your traffic and that is how esm is smart that cannot be done by polo alto or a checkpoint or a fortic gate that is how smart is esm there are hundred of features we will learn guys so that is why it is important and see you are into cloud security you are going to automation but you need to be good in cyber security my main role is to make you expert till firewall plus security that that i will make sure that I, you will become good in cloud also cloud is nothing it is just a device deploying in cloud concepts are same guys layer 7 with either you deploy in cloud or in a hardware it is same security policy http protocol will get changed when you deploy in cloud no guys so don't worry we will learn all this